Hey everyone, just real quick about guest retention, flipping a poor guest experience into a great guest experience. So here's an example of a poor guest experience. So out for dinner again, you guys are gonna think that like every restaurant in the city I live in is atrocious, but there are some good ones, I swear. Uh, we waited uh, We waited an hour again, it seems to be the magic number. We waited an hour for food, it wasn't very busy, it was late dinner. And, um, and it was gap service as well. So like we had our food, kids didn't have theirs. We waited, and not only 30 seconds, I mean like a few minutes, like we're just sitting there waiting, we're like, where's our food? So it comes out, and there's no sides on it either. I'm like, where's the fries? Like, it's, you know, it comes with it, like, where is it, right? So, gotta wait for that. Anyway, we finally get our food after an hour, over an hour now. Start eating, it's warm, right? Sat in the window, right? You know the spiel. Uh, some of it sat in the window, so it wasn't very good. Um, so, whatever we're eating and the manager's not coming out. I'm like, where's the manager? Like, where's this person? Right? So you would think, right? Like there's no table. Like it's not, it's not busy. There's a table of 20, right? That's it. So I get that ours would have taken a little bit longer. Cause I guess we came in at the wrong, t you know, the bill went in at the wrong time. Um, but an hour is a little ridiculous, right? So some things were happening, right? That shouldn't have been happening back there. Anyway. So finally I'm like, I get the server. I go, hey, you get the manager. So they get the manager. And, uh, I go, hey, I just want to let you know, like, this is that, that, this the gap, no sides, you know, whatever. I'm just throwing it out there. He goes, uh, he goes, hey, no problem. Thanks for letting me know. And this place, and this place, it's a, it's a beautiful place. And it's got this, like, family bowling thing attached to it, but it's gorgeous, right? Like, it's not rickety. It's, like, a really nice kind of upscale, whatever, right? Nice place. He goes, hey, here. Here's an hour of free bowling. I'm <laughs> like, an hour of free bowling. One hour of free bowling for one person. I'm like, what do you want me to do with this? Like, like scalp it? Like, I, like, I don't want this. Let's take it back. Like, take care of the food, man. Like, I, I don't care. I don't pay. Like, I had full intention to pay when I came in. But it's principle, right? You know, like, so anyway. So that's an example of poor, uh, you know, poor guest retention. So now here's the thing. If it's an owner or an operator, right, that comes to the table, you know, like, say something like yourself. I'm assessing the situation. I'm getting this file off this guy. Okay, he's, you know, he's doing, you know, he's upset, but he's fine. Like, he's just letting me know. Hey, that's pretty solid. I'm going to, right, take care of half the meal, take care of all the meal, take care of just the kids' food, you know, but I'm going to I'm gonna figure that out, right? And, and it's all principle. It's, it's not money. It's principle, right? Because there are people who are, right, let's see, he ate all your food, but it wasn't very good. Well, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do here, right? So, so... So two things to learn from this. One is the consistency, because I guarantee the GM of that place is not going to give me a free hour of bowling. Like, it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't add up. So the education factor, there needs to be consistency with the leadership team of what the comp is. Half hour, this happens. This person's acting like this, this happens. Some sort of training involved. Like, it needs to be standardized, right? Um, and then the second part, uh, the second part is, it's a metric, right? It's just like sales or cost of goods or labor percent or whatever that you recap at the week. So at the end of the week, when you look and you, hey guys, we spent $200 last week, we spent $500 in discounts this week. Like what happened, right? Like what, where did we lose it, right? So, you know, you can dig deeper in that and you can go a little bit further and go like, hey, Bob or Tina, right? Is discounting the most out of everyone, right? Do they not know? Do I need to spend more time with them? Like, you know, what's that education piece look like, right? So there's there's a few different factors, two big ones that you, that we need to consider when we talk about guest retention. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's kind of it, right? So, you know, choose a comment, visit the site, do whatever. Um, this is the second time I've worked, this is a funny little add-on. Second time I recorded this thing, because I just recorded... Uh, a minute ago and it was on photo. So I took a photo of me and then I just spoke for nothing. Ah, that was pretty good. I'm pretty tech savvy, right? Ah, just give me the restaurant. Um, yeah, so anyway, choose a comment, do whatever. We'll talk soon. See you guys.